Hi, I'm Werner Autarts. Back in December, I talked about some bizarre products and infomercials I found on the web. These included such gems as a toilet for the road, a book titled Sarah Doesn't Want to Be Vaccinated, weird plastic things that go on your feet, and of course, Kathy Mitchell. However, there was more than enough for another video. So today, I decided to try and find some more strange products for your amusement. This is The Wacky World of Shopping, Volume 2. Starting back off at anti-vax books, we have No Vaccines For Me by Dunkel Burger and Yam Yammin? While the content of this book is standard, the cover alone is worth mentioning. I mean, look at this. We have this doctor who looks like a comic book villain, and his name is Dr. Prophet, so he probably could be one, lurched over in this awkward pose while this kid with a backwards arm is just like, No way, man. I ain't about that life. In fact, the back of his shirt literally says, No vaccines for me. Then why is he here in the first place? And what about this sign? I know my family doctor always had his dollar signs vaccine sign up. And what's this supposed to be? A random bag of pee? And if that isn't odd enough, you can get this on a t-shirt. Sold. On the topic of weird looking book covers, here's It's Easy to Play Classical Themes, a piano book for children. Everything about this cover is awkward. Like, look at Beethoven's face here. This kid definitely needs to run as fast as he can. But then again, the kid's face might be even worse. But if you think it's bad, let me introduce you to Harpo's Horrible Secret. Just look at it. At first I thought this cover was some kind of sick joke. However, this is a very real book about a kid and his grandpa with Alzheimer's. I shouldn't be too hard on this one because the artist was only 14 at the time she drew this, and I'm sure she did the best she could. Next up on our bad covers, we have Three Days Grace's version of Give In To Me. Oops. Wrong cover. It isn't always the cover itself that's the problem. Often, it's the title. You know, like cooking with poo. That does not sound hygienic. Or take this parenting book with a lovely title, Parents Please Don't Sit on Your Kids. If you need that information, you don't need kids. Even weirder is, what if you are a horse in human form? This book discusses openly what many have known but very few have ever revealed, even to family members and close friends. Today, there are many horses in human form in the world, and they are here to help their race... and... Huh? Humanity. What if you were a horse in human form was written to comfort, inform, and encourage those equines, most of whom have never met another in their situation and fear that they are all alone? Oh, finally! I can live my life without fear of being judged! What? You thought I was gonna act like a horse or something? Nah. Alright, now it's time to move on from books, and I apologize for not talking about saying that the centipede goes to the market. Maybe next time. You ever eat Cheetos and just think, man, I hate this orange powder stuff on my hands? The answer is no. However, that didn't stop someone from creating chip fingers. These allow the user to pick up cheesy, greasy, or sticky foods without getting them all over their hands. A neat idea, but they seem so unnecessary. Speaking of unnecessary, why are there so many dang umbrella hats? There are literally dozens being sold by different companies. Check this one here out. Doesn't this man look thrilled? These people look happier, but that's probably because they're random stock photos with a hat shopped on them. You think that's bad, though? Check this very real ad out. All they did was stick the promotional image on this blurry picture of two people on a beach. And if that isn't enough, the umbrella is see-through, meaning there's a good possibility that these people have no heads. This hat is a great for personal sunshade when gardening, photography, hiking, farming, golfing, for Halloween costume, at the beach, or fishing and walking the dog suitable for rainy and sunny days. Well, that was a migraine to read. If you're looking for a chicken bag, you've come to the right place. My wife loves it. You won't regret it. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the hen bag. It's a purse that looks like a rubber chicken. Guaranteed to make you the talk of the town. Chicken lovers may also want to check out this fluffy butt hut sign for their chicken coop. But what if you're not a chicken fan and you want something a little bit more fashionable? Like earrings. Never fear. You can buy electric outlet earrings right now for $14.99. That's a pretty good deal, I must say. You can also buy earrings themed to knives, weed, jaws, nuclear bombs, light bulbs, and even Sharknado. Hmm. I wonder what other kinds of jewelry there are. Oh. How about a ring that's supposed to look like a pimple being popped? Or a necklace that looks like fried chicken? Even Cheez-It gets in on the action. 
Wow. They have everything but the kitchen sink. Could it be? It is! It's the infomercial signal! For our first commercial, we're going to travel all the way back to the 1980s. Gotta, gotta set the mood. So, 80s, what have you got to offer? In Japan, the hand can be used like a knife. That is definitely not how I thought this would start. But this method doesn't work with a tomato. Okay, I'm very curious as to where this is going. That's why we use the Ginsu. Go on. It's a knife that no kitchen should be without. Okay, but what makes it different than other knives? The Ginsu can cut a slice of bread so thin you can almost see through it. Whoa, did you see that? Did you see that? Y you can almost see through it. That's crazy. It cuts meat better than an electric knife and goes through frozen food as though it were melted butter. Oh, wow. Melted butter. Okay, Ginsu, you're going, you're going a little too far. The Ginsu is so sharp it can cut through a tin can and still slice a tomato like this. Well, duh, if it could cut a tin can open, it would most definitely cut a tomato. Just saying. It can chop wood and still remain razor sharp. What's more, it's a knife that will last forever. It, it can chop wood? I think this might be the most powerful kitchen knife in the world. How much would you pay for a knife like this? Before you answer, listen. It even comes with a matching fork to make carving a pleasure. Okay, no human should be allowed to wield that much power lest they go insane. Wait, there's much, much more. Much, much more? I, I don't know how much, much more I could take. We also want you to have this six-in-one kitchen tool. It peels and slivers carrots, peels potatoes, and slices paper-thin potato chips. This amazing little knife even grates carrots, grates cheese, and makes beautiful decorative vegetables. I'm scared. Well, we'll even give you this set of six precision steak knives. The handles even match the Ginsu. And to make the offer completely irresistible, you'll get this unique spiral slicer. You get the Ginsu knife, the matching carving fork, the versatile six-in-one kitchen tool, a set of six steak knives, and the spiral slicer. You have all this, you're going to be unstoppable. Uh, I'm going to hide now. You get them all, guaranteed in writing for 50 years. A guarantee in the form of writing? Wow, that almost makes me want it. Almost. What was that? Dinner can take hours to make, and who has the time? Hmm. That familiar voice is absolutely right. It does take hours to make a good dinner. What should I do? Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with my new Dump Dinner Cookbook. Of course! Kathy Mitchell is here to save the day once more with her Dump Dinner's Cookbook. That is not a good name for a cookbook. Now just dump and bake for full meals in minutes. So delicious. Look at these smothered pork chops, easy cheesy tacos, roasted chicken with potatoes, or this, the best pan pizza ever. The chances of that being the best pan pizza ever are the chances of me having a third foot. What? Cut up some biscuits in a skillet. All right, now hold, hold on. That window, that looks like a totally real neighborhood out there. Yes, sir. That umbrella hat ad was more convincing. In a skillet, dump up tomato sauce, your favorite toppings, and cover with cheese. Then bake for a delicious pizza stuffed with all the goodies. Uh oh, here's my favorite comfort food dinner. Start with chicken and mixed veggies. Add a can of creamy chicken soup, a few chunks of onion cheese, and top of the can of pepper roll. Just look at this. A cheesy chicken pie pie with perfect flaky crust. How about a twist on needle? And a ground beef, stuffing mix, and onion soup, and water in this bag. Just mash it all together. I'm just about to pour it and squeeze it in the tub. After baking, top of the mashed potatoes, a pretty portion of each pot of milk, a pretty short cup of tea, and a pretty short cup of tea. Please be positive. 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 I know you're excited, Kathy, but you don't have to say every single recipe in the whole book. And second, take a gander at this. After work, I never want to spend time making dinner. Now, I just dump everything in and bake to make the ultimate chili mac and cheese. As a single mother of eight, I tend to ignore my children a lot. Now, I can just dump random things into a pot and hope they're edible. I make the best mashed potato, sauerkraut, salsa, mustard, and cereal tacos. Stop slaving over dinner. Listen to me, Arnold. 
I am on the phone about your uncle's botched lobotomy. I am trying to make cupcakes for him to enjoy, as is the only thing that will elicit any kind of response out of him. So kindly stop tugging at my arm and get your stupid A&F shirt out of here, or so help me, I will dump dinner you into the river. Make delicious meals in a flash with dump dinners, just $10. But wait, call now and you can get my best-selling dump cake cookbook. Just dump and bake for this scrumptious rasin peach dump cake. Dump cakes. Somehow pouring flour on fruit made that. And I don't want to look at that anymore. You can get dump dinners and dump cakes for $10 with over 250 delicious homemade recipes. Oh lord, could it get any worse? Creating time-saving cookbooks is my life. I gathered that. And taste testing recipes is part of the job. So keeping my weight down is a struggle. That's why I created Dump Diet. Oh boy, Dump Diet. Because when I think of Kathy Mitchell, I think dieting. All new delicious low calorie dump recipes. I've dropped 25 pounds and now you can too. That, 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 that. That's, that's, just, that's just great, Kathy. Fun fact, I actually gained 25 pounds between my first video and now. Can't, can't you just tell? It's so easy. Just dump, bake, and lose weight. Dump, bake, lose weight. Who knew it was that simple? Crap! Here's a light lasagna. You know, I just noticed that this is the exact same set, but the picture in the window is different. Uh, I mean, the totally real window. Want my personal diet secret? Yes, I want your personal diet secret. Gosh, if only I looked like you. It's this magic soup. Magic soup? Of course! Doctors were searching for a cure for diabetes for years, but I guess they failed to look in Kathy Mitchell's kitchen for her magic soup. And every diet needs dessert. You know, if they made t-shirts of Kathy Mitchell, that is probably what they would say. Try my chocolate raspberry trifle with angel food cake, chocolate pudding, fresh raspberries, and whipped topping. You could gain five pounds from looking at that thing, man. A sinful dessert. So dump, bake, and lose weight with my dump diet cookbook. Oh, next you're going to tell me that isn't Kathy on the cover. For just $10. But wait, call now and you can get 100 calorie snacks. Just pay separate fee. I'm speechless. Cravings between meals? Try these scrumptious chocolate nut butter bites. <sighs> Finally, I can make some nut butter bites and not eat them. Again, don't call them that. Plus 100 calorie snacks for just $10. Call now. <sighs> Dump diets. Hey, I tell you, do not go in there. I just dumped 20 pounds. Mm, noted. I bet he didn't even use that book. Or the magic soup. Even stranger, there's a book called Dump for Diabetics. Yeah. Or like dump on the diabetes, look at that thing. And with such reviews as not happy, didn't get, can, can we really trust it? It almost feels lazy at this point, just copy-paste names into the dump format. Can we watch something with a little more effort put into it? Grandma, can you come out and play? Sure, Ellie. All around me are familiar faces. Oh my, you might want to come here and help Grandma. What's the matter, Grandma? Can't you stand? Oh, sorry, honey. It's my knees. They don't work the way they used to. I actually featured this commercial in a Full House YTP I made a few years back, but I wanted to show it again just because of how terrible it is. First of all, these images are stolen. You can Google grandma clip art and, oh, right there it is. They just stuck mouths on stock images. Annoying orange is more impressive. Second, why is there a door opening sound here? Grandma! Is that to say she came into the white void? But let's go beyond that. What's this commercial advertising? Does this ever happen to you? Are you on Medicare? You may qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Actor betrayal? Nah, <laughs> sure could have fooled me. Also, why did he park there? There's a garage behind him. At least that's what I think it is. 
Hey, did you hear about Arnold? He got dumped in the river. Oh, I know. On a side note, what's the name of the company? All we know is the number provides these different types of braces, but we don't know anything about them besides that. Seriously, they never give any information other than a phone number. And obviously they can't be that well off because they make commercials like this. Grandma, slow down, I can't keep up. Grandma, slow down, I can't keep up. I know that requires movement of my limbs, but that's not a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. Maybe you can use a knee brace too, Ellie. <laughs> Catch me if you can, kiddo. That's not even the same grandma. Maybe this mystery company provides plastic surgery too. And who is this? I need answers. This is one of the laziest commercials I've ever seen in my life. It just goes to show that you can put as little effort as possible into something and still get it on the air. Well, if they can do it, I can do it too. Meet Rick and Joe. They are literally pieces of trash, but I can still use them in a commercial for marriage counseling. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go eat some magic soup with a Ginsu knife. Ugh. It's been one of them days. Oh, oh, hey, Rick. What's going on? Joe, it's terrible. I feel like trash. Well, Rick, that's because you are trash. You, you aren't helping, Joe. No, no, no. See, it's Pam. She, uh... She, she took the kid. Oh, Rick, that's terrible. Did you get to keep anything yet in the divorce? Well, that's just it, Joe. I, I think she took more than she was supposed to. I'm gonna have to take it to court, Joe. Why'd you get a divorce in the first place? Well, the kid the kid looked nothing like me, Joe. It, it, it looked like a pizza box. I think she was seeing someone at work, Joe. Joe, I, I think all love has died. I'm sorry, Rick, but remember... You're important. What does that have to do with anything going on, Joe? I have no clue. I just want to make you feel better. I, I commend you, Joe. I I'm sorry I snapped. I just... I feel like a fool. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I just wasn't a good husband, you know, Joe. It's okay, Rick. I forgive you. <sighs> Life isn't a fairy tale, Joe. We, we, we gotta accept reality. But, but sometimes I just feel like pasta for Zool. I, I, I think I need a drink. Drinking isn't going to solve your problems, Rick. It sounds to me like you need to confront Pam. Well, well I guess I could. I, I don't know if the restraining order went into effect yet or not. A restraining order? Yeah. She's going too far. Y you're right, Joe. Something has to be done. Well, what are you going to do? What I should have done a long time ago. Rick, you don't mean... I'm gonna return to my apartment and cry like a baby for wasting my life. So long, Joe. Bye, Rick. Don't be like Rick. Call 555 Marriage Trouble before you end up like him. Sinful.